First closing the door of the Western Division Final. David Korzanowski joined alongside Maxwell Trink. The doors dropped this game five to nothing to the Katuit Cataliers. Max, let's start with Katuit's pitcher, Trey Holland. He was unbelievable. The 80 mile per hour stud. The guy just kept on throwing, not gas, right. but those low pitches that the Commodores couldn't reach. They couldn't make that adjustment. Uh, it seemed like they were sitting all the way in the back of the batter's box, but no matter what, they just couldn't put up runs. And of course, they get shut out today, even when Bo Hofstra comes into the game and the velocity goes up to 91 miles per hour. As Trundy said to me after the game, life is a game of adjustments. This game was a huge game of adjustments and they just couldn't get the bats to change. They couldn't reach the velocity and that was the big problem today was just the bats. Even Jackson Coots, who went two, who got two hits, he couldn't power this team and power this lineup at the end of the day. Yeah, the Commodores only had six hits, two of them coming in the ninth inning. They were shut down completely by Trey Holland. One player who might have some more insight on this is Troy Clonch as a catcher. He also was up at the plate a few times against Katuit's pitching staff. He caught up with Katie Florio. Katie. Great, thank you so much, Katie and Troy. So you heard him say that they need energy tomorrow. What else do the Commodores need to do in game two? Well, after facing a guy after like that threw 80 miles per hour and then you go to change the velocity, they need to reach the velocity of these other guys, of course, that's gonna be huge. And, and of course, the biggest thing today was that they didn't get runs early on. Right. For, throughout the entire Bourne series, they at least got one run in the first two or three innings. Right. They didn't score anything tonight, and they really didn't have the bats alive early on. That's what they really need to do. And, of course, the front end of the lineup, of Hayden Cantrell, you know, Trey Cruz will be there, Zach Deloach, all those constant guys that are in the top end of that lineup need to get hits earlier on, and uh, that's going to be the big way to take advantage and could do it. Of course, as you said in the broadcast, 78% chance of winning if you win that first game. So the Commodores have a lot of work left to do. Yeah, they have their work cut out for them. The Katuit pitching staff and bats took the Falmouth crowd out of this game from about the first pitch. Shut out the doors, bats, and they go silent, losing game one, five to nothing. The doors have to dig deep tomorrow. One silver lining, they saved that bullpen. So you'll be seeing Chris Gonzalez starting on the mound for the doors and possibly some lockdown relievers after him. We'll be there for 4 p.m. first pitch because no lights at Lowell Park for Katie Florio. And Max Trink, I'm David Korzanowski. Hopefully, we will see you after a Game 2 win tomorrow night. See you then.